Welcome to Brawl Talk. Brian, did you shrink us again? Of course I did. We didn't want to leave you empty handed for September, so we've brought you a mini update. <laughs> This season is going to be all about a gift shop. Which leads us to the new chromatic brawler, Colette. Colette is a cashier in the gift shop and she loves her job because she gets to collect all kinds of brawler items. And she's close to her favorite things in the world, the brawlers. She's Piper's and Spike's biggest fan. At a certain point, that starts to get a little creepy, like almost like stalker, I guess. And her main attack is really interesting. This is a mechanic we have never done before. She deals a percentage of damage based on her target's health. So if she's attacking someone like El Primo, she'll do a lot of damage. But if she's attacking someone with a tiny bit of health, she'll do a tiny bit of damage. Except for boxes, where she'll do a flat rate. And what's interesting about her super is that it's kind of similar like Bull, she runs across the map but she returns to the starting point after that and every brawler she hits on the way gets damaged. And in this gift shop mini update we are of course getting gift shop skins. And the brawlers will be using gift shop items. Sandy's newest skin will be called Sugar Rush Sandy and M's will be Super Fangirl M's. Finally Spike will be getting a mask that changes every time you respawn. Now for the past skins, we are getting a oh, 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 star, beginning of the fest, and at the end, a new skin for Colette, which is Trixie Colette. And that's not all, we've got two more. We have Lunar Sprout, Sprout for the Moon Festival in Asia, as well as El Atomico for El Primo, which is for star points. And together with this gift shop environment, we are also getting a Star Park team tutorial so we can welcome new players to the Star Park. <laughs> みんなどこへ向かってるのかって もう少し近くへ。ああ、近すぎ。一度お越しいただければ、誰もが病みつきになります。皆さんのご協力があれば、スターパークは幸せの輪を広げて、幼い日の心の傷だって癒すことができるでしょう。やあ、子供たち。お見せしたいものはまだまだあります。楽しそうですね。もっとお見せしましょう。スターパーク。この魔法のような空間には従業員の血と汗と涙が注ぎ込まれています。たくさんの涙。たくさんの血。夢なのか現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう。現実だね。そう
教育保安官は皆さんに幸せを届けるためにメルマも惜しんで働いております私たちは毎日ワクワクしながら仕事に励んでおります最先端のアトラクションを満喫しているこの幸せな家族をご覧ください Have a nice trip. 家族で楽しめる園内のアトラクションは自然第一で設計されておりますスターパークはただの遊園地ではありませんテレビ、シネマ、冷凍保存食を巻き込みやがては世界的なエンターテインメント空間へと発展していくという概念そのものです皆さん聞いてください私はもう我慢できませんスターパークはまさに一生一度の投資チャンスです皆さんの言い訳なんてどうでもいいお金にはもう興味ないんですか成功するのが怖いんですかそして投資家の皆さんスリッが幸せを阻むもの、ね、最後にはもう待ってエンジンをオンにこの絶好の投資の機会を逃してはありませんよ今日こそ幸せに目をつけてみましょう是非ご一緒にスターパークへの投資は明るい未来への投資です未来は流れ星のように輝いてます This update also includes some quality of life changes. For example, you can now turn off bots in friendly matches. Also, we are getting a free pink package in the Brawl Pass. Plus, a new match end screen that looks great. We are getting new maps and also the return of old classic ones. That's all for this mini update. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time in October. <laughs> For this moon related <laughs> event, <laughs> this is the outtake. <laughs>